Hello everyone, it's Catherine from my Hillside Garden. Today we're in the kitchen and we're going to do some tomatoes. I am going to show you how I can. I'm going to make my disclaimer though. I am not an expert. I learned this out of a book. I read the directions. I follow the directions. So please, if you're going to can, um, be sure to check wherever it is you live what the guidelines are. Because I know different countries have different guidelines for canning. Um, and this is the way I do it. So if you have any doubts about the way you see me do the canning, please take that with a grain of salt. I am following the bowl book. I will show you what it looks like. This is the book that I learned how to can from. And I think it's well worth the investment to have the book. This is the recipe we're going to follow today. It's for crushed tomatoes. I always take notes in my um, recipe books when I make something to try to help me for the next time when I make it. So, let's get started. Now remember to always check your jars. If it's the first time you're using them, generally from the store, they're fine, but you still want to check and you want to be very careful because you could cut yourself. First, do a visual inspection of your edge. You want to be sure there are no cracks or chips. You want to check your jar and very gently, but you could cut yourself. Just keep this in mind. Very gently run your finger over the top. Do not press. If there is a chip in there, you will cut yourself. So that's just my warning for you. But very gently just go around the edge. Make sure there are no uh, chips or cracks. Today we're using pint jars with a regular sized lid. Just a couple of things I wanted to mention as we're starting. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. I do this for safety because the steam coming out of the pots can burn your skin. So be very careful. And if you have small children, it would probably be a good idea to be sure they're occupied. If you have a babysitter, someone who can come watch them, or maybe it's their nap time. Um, you're dealing with hot water and hot tomato sauce and burns aren't pleasant. So I just wanted to mention that. I also have an apron on. I love vintage aprons and I chose this dark one just for doing tomatoes so that way I don't have to worry if it gets any stains on it. And the other thing that I wanted to mention, I have this fabulous electric teapot. My niece, goddaughter, and her husband bought this for us for Christmas after she heard me asking questions about one. It's fabulous for when you're canning because you don't have to heat up another burner on the stove. So you don't need it, but it's nice to have. It heats up very quickly, and that way if your canning pot is does not have the correct amount of water in it, you can add boiling water right to it when you're ready to start your canning. Our water is starting to boil. I'm going to do um, to blanch the tomatoes to get the skins off now. I have the sink filling with cold water. I have ice cubes ready in the freezer in case I need it for that. The pot has come to a boil and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start dropping tomatoes into the pot and let it go for about 30 to 60 seconds. Take them out, put them immediately in the cold water and peel them. Okay, here we go, let's begin. I like to put them in the pot on top of a spoon. You don't want to be dropping them in there because of the hot water. It is boiling. I do about five to six at a time and I set the timer and that way I'm sure to get them out before you don't want them to cook. You just want to get the skins off. Okay, we're going to take them out of the pot now. Hopefully I get to show you. Cracked skin. Now these are the paste tomatoes. It looks like they're going to take a little bit longer. Another tr trick that I was taught that I forgot to do with these, I'll do it with the rest. Just poke a little hole with a very sharp knife in the bottom of your tomato and that will help the skin to peel a little bit quicker. Okay, this is what you want to see. There's your skin is starting to peel. I hope you get a good idea how that looks and I'll bring you over to the sink. There they are in the sink. 
I have that with the water. I also have two extra bowls here. One will get the tomatoes and I'll chop them as we go and the other one will get the skins. So what we're gonna do now, so I'm gonna show you how we peel them. Now keep in mind they're gonna be warm. So your hands will get used to it after a while, but see how much how easy it is to peel that tomato. And then woohoo, what you can do is cut the top off and then you can chop it up. And like I said, the cold water helps with the cooling of the cooking of the tomato, which is important. Now you can take the core part out because it will add a little bit of texture to your diced tomatoes. And if you don't like that, that's okay. I do not take the seeds out of the tomatoes, but I do try to get that little bit of a core out of there. And once they're a little cooler, it's a little easier to take that out. Let's see, we just take that out. Get out as much as you can, as much as you want, and then chop them into your bowl. And there they are in the bowl. So let me get to the rest of them and I'll bring you back after they're done.